Hello. There is something I really want to talk about. And this is the recent announcement of the season 4 of Daredevil. Let me make it clear. I loved Daredevil on Netflix. I thought it was a great show, with season 3 as my favorite. But I love the whole show, and I love The Punisher as well. Like Daredevil, The Punisher, great shows. I really love them. So now I want to talk about the renewal of Daredevil season 4. Yeah. Originally, I really wish this show got season 4. I truly thought that the resolution to the Bullseye storyline was really necessary and I really wanted them to resolve the Bullseye storyline. Especially that they left it on a cliffhanger very much and I was really excited for a final showdown between Daredevil and Bullseye. So am I excited for season 4? Not really. And I will just tell you now why. First, I wasn't too fond of most of recent Marvel shows. I did not like Captain America and the Winter... I did not like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I did not like Loki. I did kind of like WandaVision, that was okay. I didn't even get into Hawkeye and I quit quickly, especially if I didn't hear good things, even though the trailer made me really excited. And I did not even touch Moon Knight. So, as I said, I loved Daredevil. But honestly, I'm really afraid they're going to add Disney flavor into it. I'm really afraid they're going to make it very lighthearted, like the Disney Plus shows I've just been talking about. And that's not what Daredevil is. One of, the, one of my favorite things about the original first three seasons of Daredevil was the gritty, dark, street crime nature of the show. I thought that was just incredible. I love the fight scenes, I love the grid, the neo-noir style. I loved all that. And honestly, I'm also afraid they're going to, based on Matt Murdock's Daredevil's appearance in No Way Home, I'm really afraid they're going to connected too much to the, the, the MCU. And yes, I know, technically those shows were set in the cinematic in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I really liked them as their own thing. They really didn't feel like part of it. They really felt like their own thing set within their own small universe. And it worked well perfectly. That's why oh, all those shows were so great. As I said, I love Daredevil, The Punisher, the first season of Jessica Jones was great too. And I have not seen The Defenders, actually. Or Luke Cage. But, as I said, I love the shows I've seen. So... And, but the biggest thing that really worries me is the fact that the original writers are not even writing this. Like I checked, and it's a very different writers. Which really makes me nervous. I don't know, maybe I'll be surprised and the show will be exactly what I want it to be, which is a quality season that holds the spirit of the first three and brings a resolution to the bullseye storyline. Maybe it will surprise me. But as of now, I'm not excited, I'm very nervous. And honestly, I would much rather have just first three seasons than have a fourth very different season that suddenly tries to desperately connect the show to the rest of the MCU. So, those are my thoughts of the announcement of the fourth season of Daredevil. I'm very wary of it. Like, maybe it will surprise me. Maybe it will... Maybe my uh, fears will turn out to be true, who knows, but as I said, 
I'm not excited, I'm very nervous. So, if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have seen some videos but haven't subscribed yet, please do. Press the like button. And I will talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.